It's six weeks before the Boston mayoral primary, and welcome to the scrub. This is uh, David Bernstein from Boston Magazine and WGBH, and I'm Peter Cadvis. So David, what do you make of uh, this stink that's brewing about out-of-town money coming into the race? Well, you know, this, I think, was the week when we started to see the extent to which uh, outside money is going to play a role in this election, and it, along with it, the role that the controversy over outside money is going to play in this election. Um, there's no question that uh, uh, Marty Walsh is starting to get help from uh, some uh, union groups, including, like you said, out of town, uh, groups uh, out of Washington uh, affiliated with the AFL-CIO, and others uh, are going to come in with outside spending that they can sort of spend whatever they want uh, to try to help him get elected. Um, and you'll see, uh, you know, groups here in Massachusetts doing the same thing. John Connolly has outside groups, uh, school reform type uh, organizations who are going to be spending and have started spending. And then you've got uh, uh, candidates like Rob Consalvo who want to make an issue out of clean elections uh, saying, oh, everyone should, uh, all the candidates well, should cut out that kind of spending. Clean elections is a valid valid issue, valid subject, but you got to reach that agreement before the race starts. I mean, to me, it shows um, Consalvo sort of, I'm a number three, I'm number four candidate. Not that it's not a, not that it's, it's not a, a, a good wedge issue for him. I mean, I don't see it making that much difference in the preliminary election. Um, th the reason I say that is, I don't know, m my feel, and it's only a feel for the race, is that Conley and Walsh are one and two, mm. and that the people who naturally support them aren't going to really care about the outside money, although the Boston Globe today more or less endorsed Consalvo's position. Right. Does that matter? Well, um, I think that it matters to some people who, you know, who, who really like the idea of clean elections and, uh, and you know, Bostonians deciding a Boston election. That, that can play pretty well. And I think that seizing the issue uh, is going to help Rob Consalvo as opposed to some of the other candidates uh, who, who also do not have a lot of outside spenders but have not seized the issue the way well, he no, is. I, I'd agree with you there. I think if Consalvo makes it into the final as one of the two right. candidates, I think that gives him a tremendous leg up. Uh, especially, because I have this feeling, I wonder if whoever comes in number two mm -hmm comes in number one ultimately. I think there's a very good chance of that. And I think that having outside spending can help a candidate like Walsh or like Connolly through the preliminary because you're just trying to get to a certain number uh, and that can help you get you know, labor votes or school reform votes. But then you end up sort of having to wear that group in the final. And for instance, a lot of people are not going to want to vote for a candidate closely associated with labor to be the, the mayor who has to negotiate labor agreements for the city. And a lot of people, a lot of progressives, for instance, uh, react very badly to these outside school reform groups. So Connolly will have to sort of wear that association. Um, and who knows what other groups might be out there to, to jump in. You have to realize, you know, I was talking to a, a high-level union guy in the state uh, yesterday, and he said, he said, you know, my group hasn't decided what to do in terms of, of spending in this. But you have to understand, this race really matters to us. It matters who is mayor of Boston going forward. And that's true in a lot of different areas for a lot of different groups, not just in Boston. Do you think Consalvo could be hurting himself um, by, 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 you know, by potentially blocking off receiving outside money? Well, look, what, what if uh, some of may the mayor's, uh, Menino's friends in the development and business world who would rather see Consalvo than, uh, than a Walsh or, or Connolly wanted to do a super PAC right at the end to help out Robbie. Yeah. And, and th that's not a crazy idea because Consalvo's position on the BRA, as I understand right. it, I mean, I, I remember him saying, why fix what's not broken? Um, that's something that uh, the big New York real estate developers, you know, might be willing to uh, right. and those, pony up for. Uh, yeah, and those are folks who, you know, or what if uh, Dan Conley, uh, you know, some of his wealthy uh, attorney friends, you know, with some of the big firms decide that it's important to get him in. Uh, you know, it's just hard to say who might be sitting out there who decides uh, this well, is the money to, this is where to spend my money. We had a lot of mites, <laughs> which is, no, which is really great. I, 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 I think as the election gets ready to really swing into high gear, um, 
things are going to get interesting, which most likely means that things are probably going to get dirty. <laughs> That's it for the scrum. Remember, six weeks till the election.